Well, it's no secret that air travel can test your patience sometimes from crowded planes, overpriced mediocre snacks and food. The experience can be less than stellar at times, but as unpleasant as it can be, following some basic common sense rules can lessen the stress. So with holiday travel coming up, Susan Hogan is unpacking the do's and don'ts of flying etiquette that could make your next trip and everyone else's more pleasant. Flight delays, long security checks, and jam-packed planes make flying hard enough. Add in rude, inconsiderate passengers, and it's a recipe for disaster. They should behave the same way they would visit somebody's home. But being courteous can mean different things to different people. One time I did see someone giving themselves a manicure, and that was a little too far for me. To clear the air, Consumer Reports consulted with flight attendants and etiquette experts to come up with an essential guide of unspoken rules. To begin, middle seat passengers should have access to both armrests. It's the only real estate they own, so let them get the consolation prize. And what about reclining? You certainly have the right to, but before you do... Make sure you're not unduly inconveniencing the person behind you who may be tall. You can also politely ask them if it's okay if you recline. Remember, you're sharing a confined space with others. That means don't hoard the overhead bins, wear headphones when using devices, avoid unpacking anything smelly like pungent food, so sorry, no tuna salad sandwiches, and definitely, definitely keep your shoes on. Because it stinks. And what if a person wants to switch seats or if someone is kicking your chair? It's okay to ask them politely to stop. And it's also okay to say no to switching a seat, especially if there's a reason you chose it, like it's a window and you want to sleep. But be flexible if you're being asked for an even trade, like an aisle seat for your aisle seat, just one row back. Above all, it doesn't do any good to get upset or angry, and the more relaxed you are, the better your flight's going to be. A good rule for many situations in the air and on the ground. Now, if disruptions do occur, someone gets angry or aggressive, Consumer Reports says it's really best not to take matters into your own hands. Tell a flight attendant who is trained to handle those kinds of situations. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.